And now we have more. Uh -huh. okay. It's harvest time for the UK envoy to Uganda, Kate Irie, checking out some early fruits from the UK growth development strategy and the results are, according to her, delightful. And really we can see the impact that that has on livelihoods and that's what green growth is all about. You know, we've met a farmer today who is uh, growing passion crops and seen that just from irrigation driven by solar power, so, you know, entirely clean energy, that he's managed to increase his crop production sixfold. You know, what we see is there's just huge potential across the whole of Uganda for green growth just like this. Bringing to life the broad green growth principles highlighted in the Agenda 2030 on sustainable development to experts, this should have a direct impact on the country's growth aspirations. Like today we saw uh, Gladys, the farmer who's gone from just $1,500 a year uh, in production to now potentially making over $100,000 a year using Nexus Green's agronomists and our technology. And we've tied up uh, with the with the, uh, the Ministry of uh, Water and Environment, who uh, took a loan from UK Export Finance uh, to really blanket the country. And this is going to have such a great impact on the GDP of the country. And actually, the vision is to really get more people into farming. According to officials, the idea behind these technologies is that it is easing pressure on rural farmers and as farms expand, so are the job offerings along the value chain. It is a big land. It was very, very difficult because we had to get, like, um, we had to get water from the well and then irrigate, which is, you know, that's why we are not doing it on the big scale. The project has about 687 sites and... 300 and 252 uh, irrigation sites and on average each of those sites has about five farmers who are the beneficiaries. Drought or periods of inadequate rain or no rainfall uh, to date the main cause of crop yield loss among majority of the country's farmers. From investments like this, a British company investing here in Uganda in sustainable drought resistant agriculture. It's this that's going to bring livelihoods to people, not just increasing the amount that they earn overall, but actually making sure that that earning is consistent. It is hoped that this model, if well harnessed, will deliver desperately needed inclusive economic growth in Uganda while addressing climate change, among others. Malcolm Sime, NTV Weekend Edition.